Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is July 6th, Saturday, 2019. It's 12.31 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States. And today I'm not going to do a video about schizophrenia. I wanted to do a video about the left-wing political movement known as Antifa, or Antifa, which comes from the words anti-fascist. Antifa, and also the Black Bloc. Um, the black block is when a bunch of people on the far left put on black clothes and masks to cover their faces and use violence against their perceived enemies that they, they think need to be stopped with violence. So black block and Antifa often work together. They use the same techniques of violence to attack people that they don't like, that they call everyone a Nazi or a fascist, even when they're just conservative. And... Antifa and the Black Bloc use violence to attack people. I want to talk about self-defense. If Antifa is going to use violence by punching somebody or using a bike lock inside of a sock and hack somebody, knock somebody in the head and crack their skull and make them bleed, um, or any other kind of violence, in the United States, violence that is self-defense is legal. If somebody punches you in the face, you have a right to punch them in the face. If somebody tries to stab you, you have a right to defend yourself against that and stab them. Violence is okay when it's self-defense. Antifa's got to learn that if they're going to use violence, that the people that they're attacking are going to use violence in self-defense. If Antifa or Black Bloc want to use violence to destroy their political opposition and destroy other people's free speech, if they're going to use violence, they need to understand that they're going to receive violence. And um, I am adv advocating violence. If you are physically attacked by somebody, you have a right to defend yourself. Legally, that is violence that is allowed by law.